in Kriya, there is two syllables, Kri and Ya. Kri means war. Hold the war. Okay, war. Hold the night, the war people are doing, that is Kri. Mm -hmm. But a dead man cannot do war. <laughs> the right. power of God is pulling breath from within, that is Ya, soul. Mm -hmm. Soul and body, okay, that they are doing war. This is called Kri and Ya, Kriya. Yoga, an ancient practice that connects the mind, body, and soul, has taken on many forms, but with so many different paths, how do you know which one is right for you? Today, we're diving into the world of yoga to explore one of its most spiritual branches, Kriya Yoga, and compare it with other well-known practices. What makes Kriya Yoga so unique, and is it the right practice for your spiritual journey? Yoga isn't just about physical postures. It's a vast system designed to unite the body, mind, and spirit. Some of the most popular yoga practices include Hatha Yoga, focused on physical postures and breath control. Raja Yoga, the royal path, emphasizing meditation and mental control. Bhakti Yoga, a path of love and devotion, connecting with the divine. Karma Yoga, the path of selfless action, where one finds peace through service. Nana Yoga, the pursuit of knowledge and self-inquiry. Each of these paths offers unique benefits, but one path stands out for its emphasis on accelerated spiritual growth. Kriya Yoga Kriya Yoga is a powerful meditation technique that involves controlling the life force within the body through advanced breathing techniques, or pranayama. It's not just about achieving peace of mind, it's about awakening the energy within you. Energy that, when harnessed, can lead to spiritual enlightenment. This ancient practice was popularized by Paramahansa Yogananda, whose teachings and autobiography of a yogi have inspired millions. Kriya Yoga focuses on deepening one's connection with the soul, bypassing the distractions of the physical body. So what makes Kriya Yoga different from other forms of yoga? First, there's the focus on breath control. While Hatha Yoga emphasizes physical postures or asanas, Kriya Yoga uses specific breathing techniques to awaken spiritual energy, known as Kundalini, and channel it through the spine. Second, while practices like Bhakti Yoga focus on devotion, Kriya Yoga is often considered a faster path to spiritual progress because it directly engages with the life force, helping practitioners reach deep states of meditation more quickly. Practical Benefits of Kriya Yoga and Other Practices Each yoga practice offers unique benefits. Hatha Yoga enhances physical health, flexibility, and balance. Raja Yoga provides mental discipline and inner peace. Kriya Yoga takes you beyond the physical, offering spiritual awakening, mental clarity, and a deep sense of inner stillness. Ultimately, the best practice for you depends on your goals. If your focus is on physical wellness, Hatha Yoga may be the way. But if you're seeking spiritual growth and a deeper connection to your true self, Kriya Yoga could be your path. Kriya Yoga, with its focus on energy and spiritual enlightenment, offers a unique journey compared to other practices. The path you choose depends on what you're seeking in life, whether it's physical strength, mental clarity, or spiritual growth. So which yoga practice resonates with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep exploring the vast world of yoga together.